everyone, James Holst here with In-Depth Outdoors. We got a fun little project here today. We're gonna to be talking about snowmobile trailers and uh, really how to make a trailer personalized for the way we fish. Uh, that said, we really wanted to find a way going into this season to personalize this trailer, to make this great trailer even better. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just show you some of the modifications we're gonna make to the lights. We're gonna upgrade the flooring in there to make sure that the snowmobiles aren't ripping up the plywood decking. And then we're gonna talk about some storage additions that we're gonna add to make this trailer the perfect fishing trailer for us. So what I wanted was to be able to turn this work light on with the existing switch just inside the door here that's part of the stock lighting system. Let me tell you, when you pull into a dark access late at night when it's snowing like a banshee and you need to put a trailer this big into a tight space with no light back here, it's pretty sketchy. Now, on the interior, we wanted more light. Um, easy enough, uh, everything comes pre-wired from the factory. We were able to splice into the existing wiring system and tie everything into the switch up front. So with that said, the next thing we wanted to address was just taking care of our Aluma snowmobile bed. You know, if you look down the bed here, you can see where we've scratched a little bit. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add some additional traction control mat to the deck lid before we do any damage to the flooring. There. All right, takes about 10 minutes, uh, threw down those eight pieces, and we've got this rear deck protected in a way that I feel pretty good about. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay down some traction mats and some more of these low pro grip glides. Uh, that's the next project, we're gonna get to work. All right, so we're making some good progress now. We've got both sides done. That's gonna just put a stop to any wear that was going on to the decking in our Aluma trailer. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna run some traction mat down the center. A lot of times when the deck gets icy, if you don't have that traction mat, it's really hard to back out these big sleds. It gets pretty slick in here, so that traction mat's gonna come in real handy. All right, that's it, uh, we're done. Took about uh, 30 minutes per side, and the center uh, uh, took about maybe 20 minutes total. So uh, we're in a really good place now, protecting the decking here in this Aluma trailer, and that means we're gonna move on to storage. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna outfit it a little bit, try to make it customized, personalized, uh, the perfect Aluma trailer for the way we fish. All right, so one of the modifications that we made last season basically as just a necessity we needed to find a way to transport augers uh, keep the augers safe and uh, keep them from bouncing around back here into everything and uh, what we came up with was an idea that really strike master already had made for us strike master sells a garage wall mount bracket and what's really great about this bracket is it's designed to hold an auger and it does so by surrounding the collar on the Strike Master Auger. And then just as like an added piece of security, I found this little buckle strap to go around it. Sure, a guy could fab together something, uh, but for 20 bucks, I think, online on Strike Master, uh, you can't beat it. So it's been a really good solution for us. Uh, so that brings us to uh, the next item is rod holders. We carry so many rods, pike rods, lake trout rods, panfish rods, dead stick rods, I mean, you get it. Uh, so what I want to do is instead of carrying them all in, um, you know, hard side rod cases, uh, those things get really bulky. I'd like to have the rods we're not using kind of lined up on the wall so I can see what we've got and then uh, just take the rods that I need for that day. It should be a great way for us to reduce the number of hard side rod cases we have to carry. All right, feel pretty good about that. So the last thing I want to do is just find a really good way to mount a spud bar. Keep it out of the way. Uh, we use those every time we're out on the water, early ice, anytime we're around cracks or heaves. So uh, they are kind of a cumbersome tool though. So I've got an idea how to mount one of those towards the back here. And I was thinking that I could use one of these spring clips, put it to the wall right there, put the other one just to the left of it right there. It'd be a real convenient way to transport these things. Definitely the most simple item I've installed today. See how it works. Push the jaws open, click. There is no way that thing's coming out of there. Like I said, a little piece of scrap lumber under the point. Another one right here. Great place for them. 
last piece of equipment closest to the door. So I'm gonna install one more of these uh, spring clips just to the right of it, and then we're gonna put all the equipment back in and see how everything fits. All right, everything fits like a glove. So we've got two Polaris wide tracks in there. Uh, Otter Resort up front, that's the biggest ice house they make. Uh, 18 rod tubes on the wall. Uh, got new spud bar holders. Talk about all the lights and the auger holders that we had done previously. So we're really feeling pretty good about the Aluma going into the season. Now, by no means are we trailer modification experts. If you guys can think of something that we missed that would make this build even better, drop it in the comments section. We will be watching and if we like your idea, we'll film the installation, we'll send you some merch. So this project's done, we're headed for the ice. Thanks for watching.